What's up, people? Ben Samalak TV here, coming at you. Just uh, doing a video on how do you know she's the one? And this is mainly for uh, Christian uh, men and women looking to get it, get some insight on how to know if that person they're uh, attracted to is the one. And um, you know, just simply, I do believe you know in a simple context that God does have a certain person um, that He you know ha has. Uh, has arranged for a, a you know somebody who wants to follow God, who wants to have a uh, you know husband or wife who also has the same heart as them to love the Lord, to serve the Lord. Because as you'll find out, I've been married 15 years. I got two beautiful children, five and two, and I did work with the youth for a long time. So this was something that came up, you know, came up often, which I understand because um, when you're young and you're not married, that it definitely, you know, takes up a lot of brain power, you know, uh, a lot of time thinking about that other person, you know, that that should be there to fill that void in your life, to become your special someone that you'll have there forever. And, you know, generally that's, that's how long it lasts. So if that's the case, you really want to make sure, because it's such a huge, deci huge decision that God is you know, he's okay with that, that other person that you're attracted to or wanting to, you know, that you're dating and wanted to figure out, is, is this the one God has for me? So that's why to young men and women who are, you know, they, they are looking to get married or they have a boyfriend or girlfriend or someone they're attracted to, they really, they want to know, you know, how do I know this is the one that God had for me? I, because they want God to be happy and they want a spouse who they know will help them follow the Lord. Because if you make that decision and it's and it's a decision you just make on your own without any you know involvement of God in it that could change your whole life and and that could cause your life to be in a path that may not end up um, a life where you're loving God and serving God so if someone who wants that so if you're not a Christian you don't really care about that this video probably is not for you but if you're a believer and you feel you know give me some some ideas I got three main things I'll, I'm gonna give you because there's a lot of different things I could you know you know ways I could take this video but I'll just give three to make this video quick number one um, three things to know if that if that's the one if God you know if this is the one that God wants you number one you should be willing to give that relationship back to God you should be willing to give it up you should pray to God because it's so important that person that you are trying to figure out if that's the one or not it's so important to God that if you pray to him that prayer Lord if this is not the one then, then just end the relationship. Just let me know. And God will answer that prayer because he, it's so important that you don't just decide to be with somebody who that just you want to solely because of your own feelings, your own, your own desires. Because part of a human relationship is, you know, human attraction and, and the fulfillment of the physical side of our life. But most important is that it's, is the connection with the spiritual that God has given us, that spiritual person, that spiritual partner that will be with us, helping us have a relationship with the Lord the rest of our life. So it's so important. And I do know, I've read some testimonies of stories of, of people, you know, Christian leaders who have been serving God, you know, faithfully for many years and have a, a really a successful ministry and a very, very supportive spouse. And their testimonies, you know, some of them is, they gave the relationship to God when they started off, and and some some of those testimonies I've heard, that person left that they left that person's life. But then you know some of the times that after that person decided, you know like when that guy got saved and told the, his girlfriend, hey, this is my heart now, this is what I want. That girl decided I'm not with it and left. And some of them in time they got saved and the Lord brought that relationship back. Not that that always happens. But in some instances, I've read these these uh, stories of some of these Christian, you know, um, leaders. This is what happened. And when I read that, I was like, "Wow, that's really that's that's really you know that's faith." Just to know, I'm willing to give that person up if this is not from God. If you are not willing to pray that prayer, you're already on the wrong path with that person. Because if you if you don't want God to be involved in it. You've already you've already made up your mind and cho and decided you're gonna just make that choice whether God wants it or not. That's not a good path to go on. Even that may be the one God wants, but if you're not willing to let God to put it in His hands and say, "Give me peace, the Lord," and each step of the way, 
you know, and, and you don't have to go fast in a relationship. You should take it. You should not be afraid to go slow because when you, you know, when you go slow and if it's from God, it's going to stay together. If it's not from the Lord, speeding it up is not going to, it's not going to help you at all, you know, so just know that. Number two, wait in God's timing. You know, it's very important to wait for God's timing. That's kind of goes along with what I was just saying, but you don't have to go fast. I've seen a lot of people who, you know, they knew each other, got married fast, and le lasted a long time, but then eventually it didn't work out. And not saying that if you take a long time in dating and things, it's going to, you know, it, it, it's, it's not going to end in a bad way. But when you wait and you take your time in that relationship, it just gives more opportunity for you to really see anything that may be there that you may have missed, and that's going to be with you the rest of your life. Um, it gives you time for God to just continue to give you peace in those steps. So when you do get married, you have a lot of, you have a solid ground that uh, that God has shown you in time. This is the one you're supposed to be with. So that helps. And also, you want to wait in God's time because I know some people, they are waiting a long time for, for the one. And they just start to lose faith. Like, I don't know, is God, is there really a one there for me? I've been waiting a long time. You have to keep faith. And I'll give you a story. My brother, you know, my young brother, he, he waited a long time and followed the Lord faithfully all through his high school and, you know, in college. And he got to a point where, you know, he's getting older and older. And he just was like, where's my wife? Well, what's going on here? And he was like really sad. He would actually go home and cry to my mom sometimes and say, where's my, you know, where, what's God doing here? Like, um, and he started, and I, you know, I could see other girls starting to, you know, cause he's had a job, had money, you know, eligible bachelor and, you know, other girls started to try to talk to him and I could see him just like kind of starting to let his guard down because he just wanted a wife. And I just told him, you know, I watched a basketball game and I told him, I saw this team winning the whole way through, but at the very last minute they let their guard down and lost the game. So I said, don't do that. Just keep trusting the Lord, wait on the Lord. And we come to find out he got married and his wife is nine years younger than him. So why why didn't God bring his wife to him earlier? Because she was way too young, right? So you find that out and you can see now hindsight's twenty twenty. but in the process he, he didn't know what God was doing. So wait on the Lord. And number three, I think you should always be willing to pray with people your age, someone you trust. Don't don't just come to talk to someone who's going to give you advice, whether they tell you, yes, that's a good person. So that is, that gives you feeling like, yeah, because they said it, it's okay. Or they're going to try to, you know, control or manipulate you by telling you advice that goes according to what they think. You go and you talk to people that you trust, not to get answers, but just to pray. Ask them to pray. Pray. When I got before I got married, I prayed with everyone I could. I talked to people I was very close to. We'd stay up till two, three in the morning just talking, and I was letting them know how I felt. And then we'd always pray about, you know, pray for this person. So when you talk to other Christians and you fellowship about your relationship, and you have prayer involved in that, it gives God an opportunity to speak to you that something you may not see with your own eyes, and to give you a fellowship of what other people see. That you could take in and just take that to help you with your as you're going through the process doesn't mean you're just waiting letting people what you want people to give you assurance to what you already think or to tell you no it's that you're just allowing other people to be involved and to help you see because we only have two eyes that we can see in front of us we have no eyes in the back to see what's behind us so when you bring in other brothers and sisters and you bring them into the process of you discovering then you have other eyes that can see things you might not in the situation. So it just helps. So those are just three things I want to bring up that I hope, you know, may help people who are kind of wondering and, and kind of in the process of trying to find out, you know, who, who that one is. And, um, you know, I'll just leave it at that. I want to make the, I don't want the video to be too long. So hopefully that helped. Um, you know, good luck, everyone. And, you know, God's blessing on all your searching for the for the one and um just pray that god would really direct and lead everybody who has an open heart to follow and seek god and love god and serve god and just wants a spouse to be involved in that i pray god bless you with that one in your life and have faith and trust him that he wants that because it's so important to god that 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 he is involved 100 percent in that if you let him in your life so Thanks for tuning in. Ben Sam Like TV. Check you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Like, of course, now, especially more than ever. You know, if you don't have so many subscribers, you know, they're, they're not monetizing your videos. So if you, anyone who supports my channel and helps, I always 100% support them back. I'm willing to. And uh, we can all grow together, whatever your channel is. 
you know, I'd love to support channels and help people, you know, just, just uh, uh, whatever they want and they feel is important in their life to put out there on YouTube. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, definitely support. I'll support everyone back. And I uh, hope the video helped. Have a great day. See you next time.